So let me quickly show you how to connect the new BMW control to the controller app. I'm going to be showing it on uh, uh, the CI pad. The only difference from any other Android device is that the Carpe controller app that you need to really use our controllers needs to be installed through the Carpe manager on the CI pad. On other devices you are installing it through the Play Store. So uh, let's check that we have the um, app installed. That's the first one on the list, Carpe controller. It's installed and updated. The version 285 is uh, the earliest one that you need to connect the BMW control. You need to be connected to the internet to be able to show the screen. If the screen doesn't show, you need to connect to the internet. Okay. And now uh, let's assume that this is the first controller, uh, first Carpe controller that you were ever connecting to the to the CI pad. If if not, this is something I will be showing you later. So let's open the controller app. Oops, sorry, I was checking something before. So uh, let's open the app. Time to connect controller. Yes, connect. Searching device already found. And you need to switch to the NEF mode. So just long press and scroll the wheel. Scroll the wheel. We are already testing the inputs. Zoom in, zoom out and hot and centering. These are all the commands that you have on the uh, multi-controller, on the BMW multi-controller. For more commands, you're gonna need the additional buttons. It was covered in another video. Check our YouTube channel, it's explained there. I'm not gonna be covering it again. And uh, just to repeat, very important thing is that you need to enable the NEF mode on the dashboard because if the NEF mode is not enabled, then you're not getting any inputs from the uh, from the wonder wheel. It's ending up in your bike dashboard. So again, how to do it? To convert back to the TFT mode, you just press down on the menu button. You see on the screen, it's converting to TFT. To enable again the NEF mode, you just long press on the menu button. And there you can see it's already converted to the NEF mode. If the controller, if the um, multi-controller, the BMW multi-controller is not doing anything, just check that the NEF mode is highlighted on your TFT dashboard. If you do not have the TFT dashboard, you have an older bike with the analog dashboard, don't worry about it, you don't have to do anything at all, because um, you don't need to switch from one function to another. The BMW multi-controller -control has the only function, and that is uh, the NEF mode, so you don't have to switch from one another. And now let's just let you see what it does when it is not on the NEF mode. So let's just switch back to TFT. And you can see that I'm scrolling the wheel, pressing it and nothing is happening. So that's because we have disabled the NEF mode. So let's just go back and see, working again. And now second, um, second um, part of this video to show you how it works in case you already did have Carpe controller connected. Because as you know, if you read the manuals, unfortunately right now you can be only connecting to one controller at the same time to the uh, Carpe controller app. We are working on an update, but it's going to take a few weeks. So for the time being, if you did connect any other Carpe controller before, you first need to un unpair it. So you just swipe down, you open the Bluetooth manager, hit the previously paired controller, this is the one we paired just now, and just say forget. Forget the device, and now we are ready to pair new again. So, wow, mosquitoes are eating me alive. Uh, you need to restart the app, yeah. And we are ready to go again, the process will be exactly the same like before. Device found. And because we are in the NEF mode, we can just check what the buttons do immediately. So don't forget, if you were using Adventure Control or other controller before, you just need to delete the pairing relationship in the Bluetooth manager. This is exactly the same on every Android device. The menu might look different, but you will be having an option there somewhere you know, when you long press on the Bluetooth icon to show the list of connected devices 
and um, let me just show you uh, quickly to no I can't show you right now because I would need a second controller anyway so um, it the menu might be looking differently uh, on another day we will show you how it looks for instance on a Samsung phone uh, but there will be a selection of Bluetooth devices and you just need to select whatever whatever Carpe controller has been paired before and unpair it it's either called a forget device or unpair or something uh, along those lines and that's it and now you are ready to use the um, new BMW control or the same process works exactly the same for any other controller uh, with the exception that if you have the BMW control of course you can be using the Wonderwheel the other controllers are not working like that